I'm an Air Force Airman. I am a bow hunter. I am a fisherman. I am Mark of All Trades. It is day two, episode two, and you guessed it, we're putting up walls today. You're gonna wanna subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the episodes of this trailer build. I chose half inch plywood when I was doing this build and I'm really glad that I did because I didn't want to go with like an inch or three quarters just to add more weight to the trailer so I was really trying to be weight conscious when picking out the plywood and it's a little cumbersome trying to handle it by myself but in the end I ended up making it work so here you can see that I'm measuring the cuts to make sure that it fits inside really well this is something that I can't emphasize enough is really making sure that you're measuring twice and cutting once. So here I realized that I didn't really want to make him on the saw horses with the cuts because I didn't want to end up having bad cuts and wasting the plywood. So I thought of an idea here of doing it on the ground and I ended up taking one of the saw horses and putting it on the end of the plywood to kind of prop it up to act as almost like a table to lean it on. So when I leaned it up with the saw horses on the back that will make sure that my blade doesn't run into the ground so it ended up working really well if you guys are enjoying this series you're going to want to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and in my next episode i'm going to be doing something different to the floors that you may not have seen in most cargo trailers So it's just a rough fit. Uh, obviously this first piece in here is finished and screwed in, but there's this piece. And so this is what I was talking about. I wanted a little bit of uh, both OSB boards on one stud. So kind of picked that up from uh, drywalling before. So my problem here is that this kind of rounds right here at the hood or the front of the trailer. So I'm trying to make sure that when my piece goes in from this way, it's gonna have a nice, clean angle. So this is just a rough cut for this one that I think is gonna fit, and then I'm gonna take another board and slide it in there and see how that fit is. So this is what I'm talking about. Good, good there. And then right here, I wanted like a good seam. So once I screw that in it should it should uh, angle out pretty good or angle in I don't want it to angle out so if you can see back there this plywood is not going to bend like that paneling did that was in here before so I think what I'm going to have to do is just make strips of this and just individually place them in there it's going to take a lot more time but I'm trying to do it right so do it right, so you want to do it again, right? After I made my measurements, I used a chalk line to just go straight across so that I would have a good, nice line to cut and go off of. But I do wanna make a huge point right here. I messed up. I do not have any eye protection on or any hearing protection. Those are just regular headphones that I'm listening to music. 
So I did mess up here. I know I'm going to get slammed in the comments for doing this, but I did realize this a little bit through the build and I went and put on some safety glasses and ear protection. So again, sorry for not wearing it. I didn't realize it at the time a little bit in the moment. I was able to get uh, the other wall uh, bottom done. So now I got one piece of par par uh, particle board left. So I'm gonna try and fill in these top pieces. So that's my next plan of action. And then I'm gonna work on the front here. So I've only been working on this for an hour. So I think that that's super good. But I don't know how you guys' pace is, but this is lightning speed for me. like a glove. That's so good. I'm going to tell you guys, this stuff never pans out on my projects. <laughs> I'm usually cut like a couple times and just glad everything is coming together. This is the progress so far. I know I'm trying to make the video not a thousand minutes long, so I'm just trying to show you just the quick pieces here, but I put up a couple more pieces and you can really see that it's coming along here. We have about 85% of it done. We just got this front to do. I had to take a quick break because I ran out of plywood. So I went and got two more sheets that should cover us with more than enough. Um, but yeah, we just got to do this uh, section right here. And again, I want to do it in the slats because I think that just with how it's curved at the front, I, I want to kind of put it in there right so that there's not a gap in the back. So I'm going to try and figure out how to do that. So we'll see. Just take your time and everything will be all right, right? That's what I keep telling myself and it seems to work out okay. So this is the part of the video where I really hit a wall. You can see here in my expression that I was just super annoyed with myself. I made the cuts exactly how they should have been, but then I realized that on the wall I needed to make the slats like how I was telling you before. Well, I ended up going in the wrong direction, and so I made smaller pieces than what I needed. So, other than being disappointed, I had to figure out what I wanted to do. The plan that I ended up doing was just cutting everything into smaller pieces and kind of fitting it into the front. I'm going to try and use these 2x4s as toe kicks or on the ground to support it in the back. Here's the first bottom slat. I decided to just do half pieces and then I'll put another one up top. There's a little bit of a gap here, but that's the best I could get it. And then I put kick bars on the bottom just so it wouldn't kick in if any gear hit it. So there's one over in this corner, there's one here, and then I'm gonna put one there as well, just so that it's stable up against here. Now I'm realizing, realizing why they put plywood on the back of this. Something I grasp into. It's not much, but at least it's something. One more little piece over here in the corner and the bottom will be done. That's close. A couple more pieces and we'll be done. some reason I didn't think about notching that out until pretty much the last piece. So it looks so much better and it doesn't kick out. Like you can kind of see how it kicks out here a little bit. But to prevent that from happening you need to make them into smaller slats like this. 
So you can kind of see how it contours to there versus this big piece. So I'm probably going to go back and redo the other side just like this. I like the way that that looks. of that corner not so much that corner I'm gonna have to come back and take a look at it and just try and fix it up a little bit it doesn't look terrible but it doesn't look good either <laughs> so it's kind of somewhere in that funky zone but yeah there's a little bit of a gap right here I know most of you are probably saying this is where your shelves are gonna go so it really doesn't matter but I think I've been always I've always been raised that, you know, who cares if everybody else can't see it, you know. If you know, then it's going to bug you. So I'm going to have to fix that later on down the road. But today I'm just trying to get it done. Yeah, little tip. Make sure you do it the right way. there you have it guys this is what you guys came to see this is the finished product of the inside of the cargo trailer and it's definitely got a lot more structural stability now with a little bit more rigidity of the osb board and i really like it i think it turned out really well i took my time on it it was a really good build i learned a lot and i'm really excited to see what else i'm going to do to this trailer so you guys are going to want to make sure to subscribe and like the video because next we're going to be working on these floors and you don't want to miss what i got in store for that